Hi there. My name is John, and this is Katie. We're here to talk about river pollution in New Zealand and the effect it has on biodiversity. New Zealand's rivers have a reputation of being the cleanest in the world, but 60% of New Zealand rivers are very polluted. These are rivers that run through farmland and industries, like factories. Two thirds of monitored rivers in New Zealand are affected with E. coli and may cause serious health effects. Some health effects of consuming dirty water are diarrhea, vomiting, and infections. If severe and untreated, it could also lead to fertility problems and results in serious birth defects in newborn babies. There is not just a health effect on humans, but also serious effects on wildlife. Microplastics and chemicals have a huge effect on the marine wildlife living in the rivers and the birds coming to drink from them. Marine and terrestrial animals could consume the microplastics in the water and it will build up in their digestive tracts as their digestive systems find it hard to break down the plastics. Birds are vulnerable to getting entangled in plastic objects and causing lethal effects. It has also been shown that algae and other photosynthetic plants decrease their photosynthetic productions when exposed to substantial amounts of plastics. The negative effect of microplastics could also be lethal to crustaceans living in New Zealand rivers. As the human population increases, the need of water also increases, and as the need increases people will change the river system to meet this need. Other human activities like agriculture affects the rivers because cows and sheep are defecating in the rivers and polluting them. The rivers might also flow into lakes and the pollution might affect the aquatic life living in the lakes. There will be a decrease in fish species and other aquatic life which will affect the ecosystem in the lake. One potential solution to stop the effect of pollution and agriculture is to decrease and control pollution that humans are making. Pollution control has been quite efficient in restoring the biodiversity of many rivers and increasing many aquatic species. Water quality will also improve greatly if regulations are put on pollution, and the biodiversity in and around rivers will also improve from decreased pollution. It has been shown that wastewater from a textile dyeing industry worsened the water quality of a Mediterranean river. When the wastewater was removed the water quality and the wildlife living in the river dramatically improved. The abundance of the aquatic life living in the river will increase once the pollution has been removed. The chemicals that are used in agriculture also has a harmful effect on river pollution and biodiversity. The chemicals could leach into nearby rivers and build up over time. During COVID lockdown in many countries, the pollution caused by factories reduced. The amount of pollution in rivers like heavy metals had decreased and the quality of the water improved. The abundance of aquatic wildlife grew and the species living in the rivers looked healthier and seemed more active. In New Zealand, cows and sheep are a major problem, not just because they expel methane into the air but also, they defecate in rivers. To solve this, we can fence off rivers to cows and sheep. We can make a riparian zone of 8 meters to 45 meters or about 25 to 150 feet depending on the landscape that the river is flowing through. We can also reduce the number of cows and sheep we have in New Zealand to reduce the defecation in rivers. The problem is dairy and meat are New Zealand's major exports, but it also a major contributor of greenhouse gases. Rivers have been especially important to Māori throughout history. The early Māori used rivers as landing sites, harbours and a source of fresh water. Rivers were also used for transport because it is easier to canoe up and down rivers than walk over mountains and through dense bush. Spiritually, water in general is important to Māori because it is believed by many tribes that water is a source of life. Māori also use rivers to catch food and use them in farming as a water source. Māori can get involved by helping in the solution through early consultation for where to implement the fences first can also help to make sure that the local rivers are clean and have no rubbish in them. They can also help by teaching people the importance of rivers to their culture and teach them the importance of keeping them clean. There are still gaps in our knowledge and further scientific research still needs to be done. The effect of pollution on New Zealand wildlife and environment specifically needs to be studied. The societal changes needed are not throwing trash into the rivers and blocking off riverbanks to domestic animals like cows. Katie and I would like to thank you for watching our presentation. Please share this to other people, so that they can learn more about the environment.
References will be provided in the description so that you can learn more about pollution and the effects it has on the aquatic environment and animals.